You're a member of the program. What's different from him this year now that he's had a whole offseason? I mean, everything's different. I mean, he's really athletic right now. Blocking shots, you know, and uh, running the floor. He's playing with tremendous confidence. Makes free throws. So you watch us today during practice drills. Um, yeah, I think he put some good time in. It was great to have an off season, which he's never had. So he's always played behind, behind the eight ball conditioning, behind the eight ball with the team, right. you know, uh, practices, implementing stuff, um, practice. He's always been behind. Now he's on top of, of everything, and uh, I think he's on like a little bit of a mission. Hopefully, you know, keep him, keep him healthy, and, and uh, I think you'll see a, a, a new player in the post, and he's become our best. You know, two years of our defense, like he's become our best post defender and best team defender. Okay. So he can do a lot of things, and now you add an element of a shot blocker too, which we haven't seen. Is it safe to say he's earned a spot atop of your depth chart? In that oh, spot absolutely, okay. yeah. I mean, he's, for every reason, a great leadership too. Made him captain, he's embraced that role too. He was kind of a quiet kid in the past. Right. I think now the guys really, a lot of newcomers really look up to him and, and, and his work ethic and how he practices. And, He's leading by example and, and, and vocally too. So he's done a really good job. So I'm real proud of him in grad school, taking grad classes, shows a lot of maturity. And uh, yeah, I think he's on a mission to have a good year. Thanks. Can you go back to uh, your recruitment with Gio? Was he a unique uh, recruitment? Love him. Kind of off the beaten path a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it's one of those things, you know, Coach Knight did a great job too, um, going to some other tournaments. You know, there's all those big tournaments that everyone's at. Well, we had to get to some tournaments that nobody was, we saw him play in Pittsburgh a couple times. I have known, you know, I had known him. I had seen him a lot when I was in uh, at Stony Brook University. So as, at a young age, um, loved him as a kid. Uh, shoot, pass, and dribble. Um, I didn't, you know, care about the rankings. I knew, you know, he was a guy that could do a lot of things. And uh, I thought when his body caught up, you know, to him, and he's gained a lot of weight now. You see him more, you know, improved and, and bigger size-wise um, guard plays multiple positions, um, you know, I think he has a chance to be one of our all-time great, you know, players here. I'm a guy in his class, Mamadou, uh, where have you seen him take strides in this offseason and where is he at? You know, he uh, knows all of our offenses and defense. He's another guy who had no summer last year. So, you know, came, you know, committed late and came in late. You know, I think that summer and the offseason is so huge, you know, to those guys of getting off to a good start. And, you know, his jump shot's better. He can really shoot the ball, which I like a lot. He's learned our system a little bit more. Now he's going to play the four a little bit more, too, and, and not just the five. Um, I think he feels more comfortable with, 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 with everything. So I think he's much, much improved in, um, in a lot of areas. You had the radio show last night. How do you think that went, and could, uh, would we see you in the future on another radio show? Oh, I'll yeah. Go I, you know, I don't, I don't know if I just you know, filled in during the bye week for, for Coach Ash's mm -hmm. you know, show. And I had fun. So I, I don't know how it went. I, you know, I just I, I had a good time. Met a lot of good people. It was crowded. Um, great. You know, people are interested in our program right now. It gives you a chance to kind of talk a little bit about the future. We got a lot of new guys too. So introduce a lot of new guys to you know the people that really care about our program. Getting back to the Geo, I know uh, Jerry's a big. Uh, when when you play other sports, you play. He was really good at soccer, apparently. Do you do you encourage that? Or do you even look at like the, the fact that he's a competitor in another sport? He doesn't just specialize. You know, I, I loved it. You know, we went to soccer games. So Did you? We, yeah, we we saw him play. He was, he's good. He's good. Don't tell the soccer coach. <laughs> but uh, I think. Uh, Does it show you like the? You know, that I like guys that compete? play other sports, and he was competitive. Uh, you know, I think he's pretty competitive, no matter what he does. Um, Ping pong too, right? I think. Yeah, I mean, he's into he's into it and stuff, and and he's got a little more swagger to him and, and stuff. But yeah, we went to soccer practices, so you know you have to do some things when you're trying to recruit. Uh, but uh, he's he, you know he's a good athlete, and he's got a really good IQ, and he's got a good demeanor too on the court. So he had that same way in soccer, you know, competitive and could get the balls a little quicker than he looks, a little more athletic than he looks. See, we haven't talked a lot about Issa, but the, all the competition now at his position, what is that doing for him and how does he fit in? You know, Issa's quietly, like, you know, become a really good defender, first of all, which I love. Uh, in the freshman year, he, he really struggled at times with that. Um, he's grown. No player ever grows well. Well, I've coached him. He's grown. He's 6'10". His jump shot's better. He puts it on the deck. You'll see him today. Something he couldn't do as a freshman, so he's kind of limited and he's just shooting threes. 
Um, I like the way his game has evolved, and he's a guy we can really count on. And if I can keep him in the rebounding mode, because he is bouncy and he's long, um, you know, he's going to have, you know, a really, a really good year for us. And you see, he's getting better shot attempts. Guys are passing him the ball when he's open, and he has, you know, he's not catching it low. He's catching it in the shooter's pocket. And he seems to be a little gun shy him. at times last year. When he had an opening. Yeah, you know, I, I think too, you know, he didn't have a ton of attempts and didn't have a ton of, you know, great passes thrown to him. We have a couple more playmakers. You know, we had Corey last year and we Gio was figuring that out. Now Montez makes plays for him in practice. I mean, Gio makes plays for him in practice. Caleb makes plays for him. Our post guys can pass out of the post, which we didn't have a lot of last year either. I think our post guys help him get some looks. So got some more guys that can help him get get shots, but he's him learn how to show shot and get to the rim like he's helped so he's not so one-dimensional that speed wise what's the I'm everything we're more athletic I mean I don't know if you see the Dave Van Dyke numbers it's not even close to last year we're more athletic we're faster we're bigger we're we've got longer guys longer reaches we got more of them you know so I think some of that stuff we can do more things you know and I think uh, some of our veterans are ready to take on more things in the past two years have been teaching everybody everything new you right. know these guys now kind of know, and so you can add a little bit more to your package with the veteran guys especially. Thanks. Yeah. I know you don't put a lot of stock in uh, the starting lineups and all that stuff, but as far as your rotations, are you starting to see that kind of solidify as you get closer to the season? Yeah, I mean, I think I am. But, yeah, I want them to fight it out until we start. So, yeah, the last thing, you know, I'm going to do is, is start lineup right now. But, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, there, there are guys that are really standing out, and then there's some other positions that are close. You know, so uh, look forward to the next couple of weeks, you know, figuring that out. And I like the way they're competing. Everyone's competing like they want to be a starter, and I like I like that. I'm not sure if we're allowed to ask about this, but the, yeah, the scrimmage on Saturday. I'm, I'm not asking any details, but did you learn anything? About yeah, I mean, you know, I think people get way too, you know, like it's a, it's a weird scrimmage. We did a lot of situations. We did some zone segments. I mean, you know, like it's not really like your typical, uh, you know, typical, you know, scrimmage. So. We learned, you know, some good stuff and, you know, some other stuff that we need to get better at, you know, so things like any, I don't try to get too up or down on any scrimmage right now because, you know, they, they really don't matter. But, you know, I think we, you know, to get up and down and to be uh, able to have referees and to play somebody else, I think is, is important. So, yeah, some good things and some bad things, but, um, yeah, hopefully get better and, and hope it helps us when we go with FDU on the ninth. Thanks, Steve. Yeah.